Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Evening, gang. Well, the rain has been hanging just to the west, but with time, this is uh, going to work its way to the east. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But first, uh, this probably be it in terms of the fall foliage because, well, we're at peak this weekend. Many areas across uh, upstate New York now past peak. And the other thing is, is it's going to get pretty windy around here as we get into the weekend. So that means a lot of the trees and the leaves will likely drop. All right. Outside right now, we have rain falling to the west. It's been just ever so close through the evening. Temperature is still pretty mild, uh, 55 at last check. So here's what to expect. Damp on Saturday, there will be some showers, but it's not going to rain all day. So just have the umbrella with you. Um, and then we get into Sunday, there will be lake effect rain showers on and off. We'll have a strong gusty wind. It will be a get low type day with uh, gusts in excess of 30, 35 miles an hour. Uh, and as we take a look at the temperatures tonight, we're hanging in the 50s, upper 50s, Little Falls, Utica and Rome at 57, down into Otsego County, low 50s, Richfield Springs to Springfield Center along Route 20, mid 50s in Hartwick, Worcester as well, and then up north temperatures in the low and mid 50s. So all things considered, that is pretty mild. Look how close this rain is. I mean, it is just to the west. And it's been kind of living in this area, kind of the 81 corridor all evening. It's been pouring in Syracuse. We have some light rain moving into parts of uh, Otsego County near West Winfield over towards Otsego Lake. And then some pretty good rain, Norwich, Sherburn along and just west of Route 8 and 12. And as we put this in motion, again, notice it's been moving south to north and only slowly creeping off to the east. But with time, I do think this will uh, eventually fill in. The reason being is we have this area of low pressure here that will kind of help to kind of give this a kick in the pants and uh, move it east. Now that low will redevelop into a nor'easter on the uh, coast and it's going to produce some steady uh, wind and rain uh, parts of New England through the uh, weekend. So not fun. We will get the wraparound as this area of low pressure works its way east. That will kind of realign the winds in a northwesterly fashion, so that means lake effect rain showers and the blue back on the map, so some snow, yeah, possibly, but way up in the Adirondacks, not here. More importantly, the winds really howl uh, on Sunday. Again, gusts in excess of 30, 35 miles an hour. So we're in the mid-50s tomorrow with some passing rain showers. It's not going to rain all day. Area south, mid-50s Edmiston to Milford and Cooperstown with some passing rain showers and up north. Numbers here, low and mid 50s. So the rain will eventually fill in tonight. Overnight lows in the low 50s. And then tomorrow, showers likely, but it won't rain all day. And then we look ahead into next week. Check this out. Let's get excited about this. So uh, heading into midweek, numbers once again balloon up to close to 70. So it'll be a showery weekend at times, but not all the time. Very windy. Mid 50s tomorrow, chilly air Sunday. It's going to feel like the upper 30s with a strong gusty wind and lake effect rain showers. Might be some frost Monday night and Tuesday morning. Then we clear the sky and warm it up well into the 60s by midweek. There we go. At least things warm back up, right? Yep. You It'll got be it. Soon enough that it just drops off. So glad we, we won't got talk it. about it yet. Yeah, let's just skip that part. Right? All right. Sounds Craig, good. Thank Have a good you. weekend. <laughs> Next after this break, Varsity News with Brendan Miller. Stick around for scores and highlights from tonight's top games. That's next. Don't go away.